If you know, you know, and we all know in the lower weight divisions, a lot of fighters don't get that much shine. So when a really good fighter comes along, sometimes they tend to get a lot of hype behind them and then they can't live up to it, a.k.a. Roman Gonzalez, where people were labeling him as the number one pound for pound. HBO was pushing that narrative. And I was telling people that, man, he's fighting guys that have losing records or you know don't have a really good name or fighters that's really unknown so we really can't gauge him and then as soon as he really stepped up and even though it wasn't really much of a step up because he didn't fight Anui the guy who was calling him out at the time he really just moved up a division and had a war just moving up four pounds you know or three pounds in fact and then for the Filipino fighter I can't even remember his name and he put he ended up putting his lights out and exposing the hype and keep in mind at the time they were putting uh, Roman Gonzalez above fighters like Crawford above fighters like Andre Ward who at the time beat a Kovalev a guy who was on the top three pound for pound and Andre Ward moved up in weight to fight Kovalev and beat him twice. And the second time he knocked him out and they put Roman Gonzalez on top of him. So it wasn't like they were putting Roman Gonzalez above fighters that was ordinary or average. Nah, they were putting him over the best and label him as number one pound for pound. And then obviously one thing they can never do is fight for this guy. So he ended up getting exposed. Now, Inouye is another fighter that they pushing as he's a top three pound for pound. You know, they even have him on the top three, top four pound for pound list. Now he fighting Donaire, and I find it funny that a lot of people are already stating that they favoring Donaire. So I'm like, you know, this is not a Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao scenario, where even though Pacquiao is 40, he's still looking dominant and winning big fights. No, nah, I mean, Donaire, don't get me wrong, he a good fighter, but he a, a, a shell of himself or what he used to be. And that's a long time ago. You know, he haven't really been himself since he really lost to Rigondi. Rigondi, I really snatched his soul because after that, he couldn't seem to win a big fight. And he lost a lot of fights after that. And he really a washed up fighter at this point. And to see people picking Donaire to be... Anui, even though Anui is supposed to be this pound for pound star, even though he looks good to the naked eye, however, who is he fighting is the question, you know, really all these guys that he's beating are unknown, some of them are good fighters, don't get me wrong, but how good are they, you know, if he fights a Regan Diaw, even though Regan Diaw is no longer the same fighter he used to be four years ago, or even um, you know, five, six years ago, still is a good name or he still has more in, in a tank than Donaire, in my opinion. So we'll see what Inouye will do. Will he rise to the occasion? Even though I believe he should win this fight with ease. If he struggled with a Donaire, in my eyes, he got exposed because how are you going to struggle with a, a washed up fighter? You know, it ain't like he moving up to fight Gary Russell or none of that, you know, so at the end of the day, he's supposed to walk through Donaire. He's supposed to just uh, make a a showing out of Donaire, you know, just look flashy, even though Donaire name is the Flash. He need to look like he's the Flash and, you know, just walk through Donaire in my eyes if he's really the truth or if he's on the top five pound for pound, like people claim he is, then he got to walk through a Donaire. You know, especially a washed up version of Donaire. So uh, we'll see if Inouye is able to do so. I believe he's a good fighter and I could see a lot of skill in the kid. However, like I stated, I can't really gauge a fighter if every fighter he fights and all these guys that he have beaten, I hardly know any of them and I never seen these guys fight. So I can't really gauge or know how good and new he is so like i stated now he in a division where there are bigger names like a rigging Diaw, you know where they still got more in the tank than donaire so we'll see if he's able 
to fight those guys and beat those guys. And if he's able to do so, then he is the truth. And he will be able to claim his spot in the pound for pound rankings. For now, we'll see if he's uh, a hype like Roman Gonzalez or if he's really the truth like Errol Spence, like Terrence Crawford, like Andre Ward, etc., etc. So um, the fight is on for November 7th, I believe. The press conference just kicked in and um, it's going to be a good fight. And we'll see what Inui is made of, if he's the truth or not, if he's cut from the same cloth as the truth Errol Spence. Or if he's cut from the same cloth as Roman Gonzalez. So um, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second. And don't listen to these scandals with fans. Follow Lime Toon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV and subscribe to my channel. And click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.